Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a main menu screen for your game. Once again, the model will be in the description to get for free. And if you have any ideas, tell me in the comments. Let's get into the video. First off, you got to select start a GUI, create a screen GUI. Now you need a frame and you make it uh, whatever color you want. I'm just going to make it pretty dark. Uh, you can get rid of the border size pixel or else you'll have a uh, fat outline and transparency. You can turn that up if you want. I'm keeping mine on zero. Now you go down to size and type one dash zero dash one dash zero. Now this basically it'll just fit on all screens. Doesn't matter if you're on a phone, doesn't matter if you're on an iPad, it'll fit to your screen. Next, you need an image label. This is for your game logo. So once again, you do one, zero, one, zero. Boom. Now, shrink this down a bit. Take it to the middle. Uh, oh, there we go. And go down to scale type, make it fit. So that your logo will be the, it'll be the proper dimensions, no matter what. Now you go up to background transparency, make that one, then you just boop. Now you go get your game logo. I'm going to just search Roblox logo and we'll get one of these. Okay. So then you just copy the ID, paste it in your thingy, just paste it in and boom, you got a game logo pretty cool next you make your play button so you create a text button and here's your button do the same process again you place it however you want I'm just gonna do this and then you go down to text scaled turn that up I'm gonna make my background invisible and make my text white so you can read it on the dark background. I'm gonna change it to another font, this one. There we go. And I'm just gonna change the text to play. This is our play button. So now, create a frame inside of play. We're gonna do something fancy, all right? Time for some fancy stuff. Do the process again, one, zero, one, zero. And you just go like this. Oh, sorry. You just go like this. And don't make it zero, that's kind of, it's bad. 0 0.1, oh, no, 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 0 0.05. There you go. Now you have fancy line under your play button. You can just click on this, duplicate it, and then put down here, and boom, you got another one now. This one can be credits. Yeah. Boom, you're making a fancy play menu. Now uh, I select the buttons. I'm gonna rearrange this. What, what did I do? There. And you can also, if you want, just go and make a text label. Go down to here, do the process again. And this here like that. And then you can put your game version. 1.0.0. Whoa, and another thing, go to text alignment down here, change the X axis to left, and change the Y to bottom. You might want to move it a little bit though. There we go. That's perfect. Now for the play button, just create a script. Script.parent. Uh, Script.parent button. Yes. Uh, dot mouse button one click. Yes. Okay, left click, connect, function, and then one of those, and boom. Now you can make it hide the main menu. So script parent, script parent is this one. Dot parent, the frame dot visible equals false. So now. When you go and play, you go click the button, gone. And the credits 
you go back to your main menu, create a frame, call this um, credits menu. Usually in GWAS, you shouldn't use spaces because when you go to type it, like script dot parent dot uh, wow dot roll block. See, it, it thinks it's a new line. It just does not work. We go here, one zero one zero. So now here, you can just copy our play button or our credit button, delete what's in there, and this if you want, which I'm gonna do, and you just put it here and make it say back. I'm gonna do the same thing as this, make it say back. And I'm gonna go write some credits. Credits to and wow, those two are some very famous people now. They just got featured in this video. We're gonna make this functional. Click on your credits menu, frame. Just click on visible in properties and hide it. And uh, in credits, now you create a script. The script will go just like before, except instead of just hiding in the frame, it's also gonna make the credits frame visible. So script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot credits menu dot credits menu dot visible is now true. So it'll hide this menu that you're cur currently looking at. And it'll put this one on top of it. Yeah. Now we gotta make the back button work on this one. So once again, script. We go uh, script dot parent dot mouse one button click and connect function. This thing. Get rid of that. Boom. Now we go script dot parent parent which is the credits menu we make this invisible and the other one the main menu script dot parent dot parent dot parent main menu main frame uh, dot visible equals true boom so now we hide this and this is what your viewers see when they play boom play okay that works now we go to credits. I see the credits, so I wanna go back. And boom, we're back. We just hit play and we're in. Now a little optional thing is, so let's say you're trying to build, okay? Ah, this is getting in my way, no. What you gotta do is create a script that literally just goes script enabled equals true. Click on here, the screen GUI, go to enabled, and it's hidden. So now, this script will make everything visible when you play. So this entire menu here will become enabled when you play the game. Final thing is, let's say you're playing a game, right? Wow, I'm playing the game, it's so fun. Oh, NPC, hello. And then you ended up resetting or something. Your menu came back. You didn't want it to be back. I don't want it to be back. So, you select this, the screen UI, and here, near enabled, under it, where it says reset on spawn, just tick that, make it false, and when you go to play, it'll show up once, and when you reset, or something bad happens to you, it won't come again. That's it, it's as simple as that. Thank you guys for watching this video on how to make a main menu, if you liked it, you can like it. If you want to subscribe, go ahead. Feel free to comment any ideas you have. I'm Coffee. See you next time.